It's week number six for Claire. My name is Jody Bunting, and this is our free six-week course where our slimmers will, I repeat, will lose a stone in six weeks. So it's the end of week number five, Claire. Yeah. How many pounds have we lost? This week, none. Okay. <laughs> so... We put a positive spin on this and we say we've maintained our weight, don't we? Yes, <laughs> we have. What yes. have been your challenges this week? Um, I forget when you ask me if I got anything on and I say no, I forget that I actually do. Okay. Um, so one challenge this week is I went out for tea on Thursday with Kelly to... The Blue Jay, which isn't normally an issue because they have some nice vegan options. But the day that we went, they changed the menu. Oh, no. And they literally have one vegan option now on their main menu. So and what was because it? I didn't want that. It was a, it was a lentil chilli, which I just didn't fancy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I ended up having three starters. <laughs> could have been Which worse. It could have been three desserts. Well, yeah, it wasn't the best of choices, but I didn't have a lot of options. So yeah, we had a bit of a moan at the Blue Jay and I've emailed Marsdens, but they don't care. Um, so, yeah, I was a bit disappointed. So I won't be going back there for a little while. Because even I don't think they've got a vegan option on the carvery, have they? No, no. It was other, well. I could have had vegetables, but yeah. Um, I know, if but I was other, having Carberry, I'd want the Yorkshire pudding and all that, and which I can't. So yeah. It's, I know uh, some of the other Carberries do do some actual nice alternatives, so you can actually partake yeah. on the. Oh, what a shame, Claire. Yes. So that was a bit of a letdown. And any other things that threw you off this week? Yeah, so we had a, um, a, like where I work now, the charity that I work for, we had a volunteers lunch on Saturday. Um, yeah. So that was a bit of a beige buffet. <laughs> so lots so, of bread was that? Um, not bread. Um, I had a couple of wraps, only, only a little bit of the wrap. Um, a samosa, chips. There wasn't, yeah, although I was involved in picking the food, there wasn't a lot of choice for me. So, yeah. Right. So our total weight loss, by the way, although you've maintained this week, is still very good, isn't it? Do you remember yeah. what it is? Nine and a half. Yes, which is still fantastic. Fair, I've never lost nine and a half pound in five or six weeks before, so I'm still... I'm still chuffed, although it's completely stopped. Um, I'm, I'm looking at the bigger picture and still quite happy with that. So let's have a little look through your food diary. So avocados and eggs for this morning, which is great. Beans and cheese on jacket potato for lunch, mm -hmm. which is, of course, plant menu cheddar. Yep um in the evening you've had beans with beetroot burger and carrots yeah it was a mix of carrots so there's purple carrots normal carrots and white carrots oh nice mm -hmm. i know get me so uh i'm not actually sure of the protein content of the mature plant cheese you have ever had a look what it's made from? No. Shall I? I was just wondering because obviously you are what does it say? I need to look in the light. Coconut oil. Does it say any grams of protein? Per hundred grams. <laughs> I can't see. 
I'll have to put my glasses on later and have a look. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just blind. Did you scan it with the uh, scanner? Y yeah. It's, uh, the reason I'm asking is because my fitness pal, it says zero grams of protein. Oh. So, because obviously what I was going to say to you was, um, we need to try and get rid of the beans and obviously add some more fruit and veg. The ironic uh, thing is there was more protein in the jacket potato than there was in the uh, vegan cheese. <laughs> Oh, gosh. OK. And there was more protein in the beans than anything else. So that's obviously the advantage of having the beans. However, there is still quite a lot of sugar in the beans. OK. I had that twice today. Yes. Consider myself told. <laughs> OK, <laughs> let's have a look at yesterday. Uh, strawberries and... Uh, blueberries with the yogurt which is fab uh for lunch was a salad uh those mm -hmm. greek style cubes which is also known as feta cheese which interestingly yeah. enough again has got no protein in it i just wonder oh, whether the i'm just wondering whether the, the information has been put in because i can't imagine it having no protein strange i don't know the um the pot's gone now i can't check yeah, that's okay. Uh, you did have some hummus with it, though, as well, which has got some protein in. Yeah. Um, and the corn vegan um, slices, three grams of protein, but 20, oh, 25 calories, that is. Um, for dinner yesterday, green beans, carrots, oh, and French purple carrots. Get you having two yes. different types of carrots. Yeah. I can't be bothered to split them today. Uh, cauliflower and the vegan quiche. Oh, yeah. That's really and bad. I can't remember what I even had yesterday. And two lotus biscuits. Can you remember those? Oh, yeah, I can remember those. <laughs> <laughs> right, Sunday, uh, eggs with meat-free sausages and tomatoes. Yeah. Uh, for lunch salad with the vegan quiche and yeah. the cubes of feta fake feta i think that's a na nice name fake feta <laughs> uh, and then salad with a bit more hummus uh, and then for dinner you've had the tender stem broccoli with the indian aubergine now you like that one don't you yeah not having it this week though why? Because you can't afford Marks and Spencers. No, that was on the market. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was on the market. On that market. one that you're tracking is Marks and Spencers. That's why. I yeah, think that's yeah. Why. No, it's on the market. Uh, Saturday was avocados and eggs. And as you said earlier, that's when you had your... Meal. I think I gave up. I, this, this is part of my problem, that when I can't track things, I give up completely on that day. Yeah. So remember, this is where quick ad works the best or just a little bit of a guesstimate. Mm. I think in my fitness palette, it's even got things like buffet lunch, 500 calories. Oh, OK. So even tracking something like that is good. Yeah. OK. Friday was great because it was a soya pot with some seeds and nuts or seeds and fruit, should I say. Uh, yeah. Sausage vegetable bake on the lunchtime and then the evening, uh, the sweet potato and spinach curry uh, with a little bit of wine, which we discussed last week, and awesome. some veg. Your calories were great on Friday. I, I can do it when I try. But it was the 1st of April. Is that a joke day of food <laughs> for me? Was that just for me to get me back? <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> what else? Yes. Thursday, <laughs> uh, Weetabix with the almond milk. Uh, for lunch, it was uh, oh, lots of nice things here. So basically, a salad with bits of nice bits of protein, vegan protein. And then the evening 
onion rings with go- <laughs> garlic oh, yeah. bread and vegan nachos. Yeah. Were they nice? It was all very lovely, but all very bad for me. Yeah. The healthiest thing was probably the vegan nachos. Hmm. So never mind. Lesson learned. Yeah, so we're avoiding avoiding uh, Toby Carver uh Blue Jay. Blue Jay. Um, I keep meaning to go back to uh Cherry Tree, by the way, which is the farmhouse inns, because they've got beetroot steaks and all sorts of nice vegan things. Okay, might have to look at that. I think that's a good option. Uh, Wednesday, which is our final day, uh, Weetabix. Uh, for lunch, the same thing. Uh, lots of things with salad and meat-free sausages with eggs and avocados. Great. So your first couple of days after we spoke last week were actually quite good. <laughs> it goes downhill. <laughs> Right, we discussed last week about the action plan for this week. Yes. We also discussed it this morning via text message. Yes. How are you, what are you thinking now? Um, I've had a look at it. I think it's going to be hard, but I will give it a go. Obviously, I'm not, I've gone off eggs again now with the situation with the hens at the minute and the birds. Um, In case anybody doesn't know, free range eggs are currently not free range. No. no. So I think this is also good because, again, long term, it's really important that you do go back to uh, pure vegan food um, that is quite natural and stuff like that. So I think although it's going to be harder than week one when we first did it, it's going to hopefully open your eyes up to a little bit of nice things. Yeah. Um, and I am out tomorrow eating at lunchtime and thursday evening so i have got a couple of things planned so i can't stick to it 100 percent, but i will try and do it so and just remember on week number one you had that thursday night out as well didn't you yeah yeah so again it's not impossible to lose a big amount and not stick to it 100 percent it's yeah. just obviously the the biggest challenge is going to be the weekend, isn't it? Yes, I have got Derby ten k, so hopefully oh, yes. I'll burn a few calories there. Great, that sounds good to me. Yeah, are you at Park Run on Saturday? Um, I'm not sure yet. Okay, I will let you know. Um, but yes, we need to keep ourselves motivated this weekend. Um, will you be doing a run then on Saturday or not? I might, go and do, I might go and do part run. Um, I suppose it's only a uh, 10k, isn't it? <laughs> I can't run 5k without walking at the minute. <laughs> and seeing as your lovely friend Catherine, one of our fellow slimmers, can't do it as well, you're literally representing the group, aren't you? Bloody hell. No pressure. No pressure, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the plan then for this week. Um, as again, just to tell everyone else what you're doing. So we're replacing eggs for avocados and also maybe some tofu as well, is what yeah. I've suggested. Um, but again, think about those things that we really enjoyed on that week we were together, week number one. And that's when you had um, the seeds with the almond milk, make it into yeah. porridge. So something like that for breakfast. Um, and then in the evenings, think about that cauliflower steak that we had. Yeah. Did you see one of the slimmers in the group this week did the baked aubergines? No. She cut the aubergines in half. Right. You did have an egg on it and avocado, but you could have just mashed avocado on top of it. Yeah. Okay. But, so I think that will be something else nice to try. Yeah. Okay, I'll have a look at that. Great. Any questions? No. Right. Not unless you want to move back in again. <laughs> well, I was just pack packing my bag, actually. <laughs> what is your goal for next week? Oh, just anything. No, just I need you to read out the numbers. How many are you oh. going to lose? So you need to say, Jodie, I'm going to lose four and a half pounds by next week. 
Jodie, I'm going to try and lose four and a half pounds by next week. Right, repeat it again and say the word will. Jodie, I will lose four and a half pound by next week. Yes. Great. You heard it here first, guys. That was the Claire Bruin vegan exclusive. Oh, my God. <laughs> you can do it, Claire. OK. OK. Thanks. Yeah. Right. That's it from me. Thank you for now. Ta-ra. Bye. Bye. <laughs>